Hi, this is R.A., Chief Analyst at Internet Honey. I'm going to walk you through the administration of sites inside Tourism Intelligence. The, what you're going to need is the IH Admin login, which can be found in Salesforce. And when I come in, I'll see some navigation on the left. On the left-hand side, uh, will show me content. Now, that content is specific to what site I'm in. The default site is a site that is not specific to a client. Every other site is specific to a client. And I can change what site I'm in and look at the content. So if I log in as IH admin, I can go in and look at the content, workbooks, views, and data sources for every client. Additionally, I can go to admin where I can administer the sites themselves so here they are I can also administer the users so this is where I would come if I needed to change a password or create a user I can add a user at the top or if I needed to change a user I could come click on the checkbox and then change what permissions there are such as what site they're a member of whether or not they have um, administration over the system and we'd want this set to none and then what kind of license they have a client will always need the interactor licensing which allows them to go in and make changes to and edit the workbooks that they have if I click on that user I can also see information about their permissions like can they publish um, etc when they last logged in so the um, the next thing I can go to are the data connections. So these are data connections for, for all of the clients. It will tell me what kind of a connection type it is, like MySQL that's going into Amazon, Google Analytics, um, a data extract, which is like an, um, when you import an Excel spreadsheet, that's what that gives you, and then a Salesforce. Um, data connection. I can also look at the schedules. So this is when things are scheduled to happen. I could potentially modify those. These are pretty well set. You shouldn't have to go in and change that. I can always look at also look at the um, subscriptions. Who has subscribed to what um, workbook and when it's being delivered. So back to sites. This is where I can add a site. I want to give it the client's name. The URL will be populated for me, so leave that alone. So the site name, the site ID um, should be the same. Everything else will default to the appropriate uh, settings, so you shouldn't have to do anything there. Alright, so that's how you administer a site and a user inside of Tableau.